Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare at Code UK. Now, as most of you will know, I'm a web developer, not a designer, but I do like to play with some of the de design tools, such as Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is like Photoshop, but instead of having a recurring fee for the Creative Suite, you just pay a one-off fee. I think it's something like 40 quid. Um, the only reason I know about it is because my friend who I work with, her husband is one of the developers who made it. Uh, so it's a UK product from Nottingham. So I'm from Derby, so it's near home. Anyway, you don't need to know that, that's boring. Let's get straight to the point. What I want to show you today is a cool feature um, on this Affinity Photo, and that is this perspective tool. So you can click on this, right click on this here, this little mesh, and go on perspective tool. Now what this is going to do, it's going to change the perspective of this, um, of this picture here. So this building at the moment, it's pretty much central, um, going off, I'm not sure on the degrees if I'm honest, you know what I mean, it's pretty much central, you're looking at it at the centre point and it goes out evenly to the horizon. We're pretty low or down, I'm sure I did something like this at, at school. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to change the angle of this, I can move it over to the left or to the right and it, it's basically going to distort it but it's going to look like it should have been like that in the first place. So I'll turn the grid back on so we can see. I'm going to change this mode here to source. So I've had to work this out myself because watching the videos, um, they show they show it off in these affinity videos, but they don't actually show you how to use it. I'm sure there are tutorials on there, out there, but this is one now. You've got a tutorial from a developer, not a designer, how to use this tool. So I'm going to go with dual plane. Whatever that means, but it, what it does is it does this. And I'm choosing mode source. So this allows me to move these points into position. So this is the top of my building. I'll bring this down to here just to keep the line straight on the corner. And then I want to bring these down so that I get the line going properly. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit. So we want the proper line there. Now if we look at that, I need to go up a bit, there we go, and then I can go up a bit on here. So I'm just aligning that properly, and then I'll do the same for this side. Align that there. Quite tricky actually, just moving your mouse. <laughs> so yeah, I've moved my mouse successfully. Uh, notice that these lines here that go off to the horizon, check me out, um, they aren't quite straight. So I'm just bringing this down. Remember to bring it down straight down this part here and also making sure that these lines are in line. So just bring it up a little bit. I think if I find one, that's probably about right. You're probably watching and shouting at the screen, no, it's not right. But in my eyes, that's right. Remember, I'm a developer, not a designer. And then I'm just going to bring this one down as well, just to put it into the right position. I think that's about right. Don't know why I'm talking like that. All right, so now um, I can turn the grid off. It's fine. Um, we don't need to see the grid anymore, but watch this. So now I'll change the mode to destination. So we will see the... If I move the building, just watch this, you'll be in awe. Look at that, turning the building, changing the angle of the building. And if I keep it up there, then I keep the background and everything in the right place. But that is pretty good, isn't it? You've got to admit it. So let's just say like that. And then what I can do is I can show a mirror. So that was the original. Just, yeah, so we've got the before and after. So before on the right, let me just um, hide that. Yeah, so I've got before on the right here and then after. And I can just play about with it. I can bring it down if I wanted to. Remember, I could crop this little part here and use it in a bigger image. Um, so I could bring it down and just, it's just amazing really. It's just a great tool. 
and then just press enter done i've done my uh whatever it's called my perspective skew and i've got what was that original image there we go that was it this is it now and i can just undo or redo and then i can use that in an image if i was a designer and i had a reason to do it then fantastic as i'm a developer i don't have any reason to do it but you probably will do um, you probably know what you're doing better than i do so i just wanted to show you that and i think you'll be impressed with that i've done another video before but i never talked about it and that was using the in painting in painting tool so let's go to codeshare.co.uk and use the stock image search tool and we're going to search for a winding road and this winding road i'm going to find one that's got some of these this is the one i like I'm just going to download this image I'm going to double click it and open it in photo right so this tool the in painting tool what it's going to do is it's just going to erase these and you will never know they're even there so just click on the in painting brush tool i'll just uh, reduce the size of the um, the brush itself maybe to about 90 so now all I'm going to do is just outline what I want to remove from the scene and then let go of the mouse three two one all right five four three two one gone it just disappears and then I can do the next one. You know, you can imagine like you go to take a picture of somewhere nice and there's these windmills ruining the scene. Three, two, one, gone. You know, it's, I think it's really good. Um, I can have a go at this. I'm not sure how it will look if I have a go at this one. But yeah, let's try and get rid of... I'm going to get rid of the sign and the bush next to it maybe. Now I'll try the sign first. See how that goes. Three, two, one, gone. All right, it looks a bit odd. Look, that doesn't quite look so neat. Let's get rid of that. Just get rid of the bush. Yeah, disappears. That is really good, isn't it? It's a good tool. Apparently, it's available in Photoshop as well. So, so what? but i'm just showing you this affinity photo um that's it really with affinity photo just thought i'd uh, show you that it's a good little tool um i got it for free lucky me no, i didn't really um yeah go on play with it download it i think there was a beta at one point you probably can't download the beta now because it's out as a proper product the other thing to say is it's out on ipad as well so Check out the video for iPad, it's amazing. You, you can use the iP new iPad Pro and uh, you can do all sorts of this stuff. So that's, yeah, Affinity Photo. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video as usual at the end of all my videos. If you did like the video, please click on like. Subscribe to my channel. Um, feel free to comment. Ask me to, if you don't want to buy this, ask me to show you how to do something and I'll show you how to do it. I'm not a designer, but I can learn how to do it. And then I can show you in a video how to do it. Um, and feel free to share with anyone. Subscribe, etc., etc. So thanks for watching. Bye.